Hello everybody, this is MAG here on the Young Gamer channel and today we're going to be looking at how do you download new maps into spin tires because it's a question we get asked a fair amount by our subscribers in the comment section to our videos. So uh, this is a very basic tutorial, it's a very simple process. If this, you find this process useful, <clears throat> please uh, click the like button and uh, if you want to see videos of spin tires and DTS and other simulators then uh, you know please subscribe to our channel and uh, You'll be kept up to date with our latest videos. So basically, to download a spin tires map, first of all, you need to go to your spin tires um, website of choice. You have an option here. There's the UV website that allows you to download stuff uh, through the download manager. Just remember, you need to sign in in order to do that. I won't let you download anything. But our our uh, map website of choice is spintires.nl which I believe is where most people go to get their maps. You can <coughs> get maps from some <coughs> excuse me, you can get maps from some Russian websites. The Russian modders are putting together some pretty uh, detailed and awesome maps at the moment <coughs> but unless you can speak Russian you're not too sure exactly what it is you're downloading. So I stick with spintires.nl. <coughs> The other useful thing is that there's always a nice description here about the type of map uh, that you'll be uh, downloading. So I'm going to download a couple today. Uh, the first one I'm going to download is level Aussie Wasteland. <clears throat> and the next one I'm going to download is level Primary. I download two because there's a slight difference between what you get when you download them. So I'm going to click on Aussie Wasteland. The useful thing, another useful thing about this site is when you download something, you don't get redirected to one of these silly download sites that spams you with loads of different adverts. And you got to click on the download button 50 times to before it even starts uh, downloading to your computer. This is all downloaded f straight from this chap's website. So if you do have a few spare pennies lying around, I suggest you donate so that guys like this can keep these websites up and running. Read the description. Make sure it's what uh, it's the sort of game that you uh, the sort of map you want to to play. This is more of a logging map, uh, and click on Aussie Wastelands, and here we go. Starts downloading. So those two files, those two maps have been downloaded to my download folder, and I have moved them into a separate folder that I keep my desktop here. Spin tires maps, and you can see there's a few different types of uh, of maps here that I've been playing with recently. So here's the two raw files that uh, that were downloaded click on them extract here click on primary extract here and primary and Aussie wasteland there's the two folders so we'll open up primary first and you'll see there's a media folder there's a level subfolder and then in the level subfold you get an image file and an STG file. That is the map. That's all there is to it in this case. Now a lot of maps you download, that's all you'll get. And it's a simple case then of, if I go into uh, my shortcut here. This is basically my Steam Apps folder. Uh, you, yours might be located somewhere slightly differently. Um, but mine is in my C drive. Program files... Uh, times 86 steam steam apps common and then we have this folder in here spin tires and you can see here is a media folder and this is where all the maps go now at the moment I've actually got uh, some maps in here so I'm just going to delete them for the purpose of this tutorial so if this is the first map you've downloaded this is what you'll find it will be empty this hasn't replaced any of your stock maps uh, they're located elsewhere in amongst the uh, in amongst other folders so you're not uh, deleting those uh, this is purely where you put your third-party maps so go to media what we need to do is uh, there's a media folder which I don't need that one again there's levels we simply stick levels in there and there's primary right so we're in the game if I go to play I go to the maps and here we go level primary so you've still got your um your other maps and there's primary click on it uh, start new game and here we are a nice fresh new map for you to to play with 
after you are content. Okay, we'll come back out of this now. We'll look at the Aussie wasteland map. All right, so we're back on the desktop again. And uh, we are looking at uh, Aussie wasteland here. So again, there's the spin tires, steam apps, common spin tires folder. Open up media, it's empty because I've removed primary from it. Double click on Aussie wasteland. Uh, and you'll see classes, levels, textures, as long as it's the same folder that contains the levels subfolder, then it's a simple case of dragging these across, putting them into media, and then that should be that map fully operational. Now, before I go and check that in the game, I wish to point out to you that you can, if you want, have more than one additional map in the game if you want. Now, I keep my folders all nicely, all my maps nicely organized in my spin toes maps folders because um, the ones that are more complex I don't really want to have them all um, obviously when you when you drag classes levels and textures across some of the classes and some of the textures that the, the the folder the file type gets replaced by the incoming uh, the incoming folder and I'm not sure if that screws up spin tires or not so to keep it all nice and neat and tidy if it's a big map like Waste or Aussie Wasteland or like P9 Double Back, for example, which contains classes, levels, meshes, and textures, I will just install one map at a time. However, if it's a small map, such as Primary, as we saw, which just contains the two folders, what I can do is I can go to Levels and I can drag those in there as well. So we should have Aussie Wasteland and the Primary level available to us as well when we go back into the game. Okay, here we are back in the game. If I go to play, go to maps, here we have Aussie Wastelands, and here we have Primary. So click onto Aussie Wastelands, let's stick a, a vehicle in, let's stick our Dodge Charger in there, start a new game, and we should find this map loads up nicely. Okay, there we go. So there's the uh, Aussie Wastelands map. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Uh, so just to recap, go to your website of choice. Ours is spintires.nl. Download the map. Uh, place the contents of the uh, media folder into the media folder from uh, your Steam apps uh, location. And uh, load up the game. Simple as that. So if you found this useful, you know, stick a like, uh, hit a like, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see some of our videos that we've been doing of spin tires or Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator or any other kind of type of simulatory type games or Stranded Deep or stuff like that, you know, have a look and, you know, possibly consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, so that's uh, that'll be me signing off. Cheerio for now. Bye bye.